Alright, thanks for coming back to watch the build of my bat van. And tonight, today, this evening, whatever time it is, we're going to install our uh, privacy curtain. And for that, uh, I have a track that I'll be installing up here. I've got some hooks that will be on a roller and uh, some curtains that are about a foot too long. And we'll go ahead and get this thing installed. So let me show you what I got and we'll get right to it. Alright, so the product that I purchased is called Room Dividers Now, and basically uh, it's a 12 foot section, which I took one of the 6 foot sections and cut down to the length that I need, go across the uh, front of the ceiling. And they also give you some hardware, which is the end caps that will go inside the uh, deals here like so. And we'll do that on one end, which will go on the driver's side, lock that in place. We'll install all the rollers that we're going to need, and then we can cap off the other end. So that is that. And they also come with uh, the rollers that will actually hang inside here, just like this. Roll back and forth, nice and smooth like. And uh, they also send you a saw. Uh, so you can cut your track down, which I didn't use. I used the uh, little jigsaw with a metal blade in it, cut uh, the length that I need. So everything you need, room divider now. The link is in the description for Amazon. I am an affiliate, so if you uh, snap on that link and purchase something, I'll make a small commission, no extra charge to you, and uh, that'll help help out the channel a little bit. All right, so without any further ado, let's get this thing installed and hopefully it uh, works pretty decent like. All right, so I believe that I'm all set up. So I'm gonna install this track right behind this fan shroud here. And uh, because I did cut it to length, I can tuck it right against the wall and I think I can line it up about right there. I'm going to pre-drill my first hole and try to put a screw in there. It's got quite a spring to it, so let's hopefully, uh, let's hopefully, uh, hope it does. All right. Let me go ahead and finish installing all these screws and then we'll uh, go ahead and get our hooks installed and then we can hang our curtain and uh, well, we'll see what it does. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much installed and it is <laughs> nice and tight and solid. So uh, we're going to take our little hangly dangly <laughs> hooks here and uh, just insert it on the end slides all the way over. So I think my curtains have six grommets for each side and so I need to install 12 of these. So let me go ahead and get those in. This is actually kind of fun. All right, so we do have all of our hooks in uh, our track here, which goes against the wall. And all that's uh, left here is on this side. We're just gonna go ahead and install the uh, end piece here. If I can get it in there. There we go. Take a screwdriver.
there. And that'll keep the hooks from, from falling out. All right, so let me unpackage my curtains that I have and uh, we'll take a look at it and get those installed. All right, so I'm using uh, some blackout panels and uh, these things are like 84 inches long and this is probably like 6'5 or so. Anyway, oh yeah, got a lot left here on the floor, but uh, two, four, yeah, six on each side. So we'll just uh, roll our hooks this way and go ahead and set those in place. I think that's going to work pretty decent. <coughs> They're not uh, total blackout. Um, I think they're pretty dark though. I won't know until daylight. Let's go ahead and get that other one up and then we'll uh, check everything out. Now for sure, uh, these things could probably use a good ironing. Um, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> So anyway, it works pretty decent. Uh, over here I will probably use a magnet, hold things in place on the side just to just so it keeps closed. And I think it's just right there is all it needs. That side obviously is nice and tight. And then if we, uh, we want to open up here in the center, we can do that. Or what I did is I added an extra hook right here. And if I wanted to, then I can take this one off and I can, I think, yeah, there. And now, it all acts like one curtain. And, well, shoot, let me put this thing down. All right, so, uh, tucks away nice under the uh, behind the driver's seat and when I'm ready to call it a night you can drag that over and we're in stealth mode all right so now uh, the next thing I need to do is the lagoon table mount arrived today and so I need to uh, attach that to my bench but before I do that I'm gonna have to take out the drawer take off one side of the wall and put in a new support for that uh, mount to attach to so uh, that will work it's a good track and uh, nice and solid it does uh, come in two pieces for a 12 foot section and you just cut that to fit and as you saw I, I actually uh, installed or drilled some more extra holes into the track so I could put some more screws because I knew that springing that up was going to be pretty tight. All right, let me clean up my mess here and then uh, we'll get that installed. And then I'll probably make my bed. I don't have any exotic sheets or anything like that. Hmm. But uh, I do have some fitted sheets that we'll get on there and my comforter and my pillows and uh, we can call that home for uh, the weekend. So, let's move forward. Alright, so in preparation for a table mount that will go on the side of my cabinet here, I went ahead and put the support block in place. So I had to remove the panel, remove <coughs> this drawer slide and this rail, and install this so it's pretty much glued and screwed and now I'm just putting things back together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this panel back in, put my drawer in, and that's pretty much done. 
and then we can get set up and install my table. So I'm hoping to have that up <coughs> here pretty soon and uh, see what kind of little table I can make shift just for the for the weekend. So let me put things back together and we'll take a look at it. All right, with things back together, and uh, here's my table mount, and I think it's a lagoon table mount knockoff because it doesn't say lagoon on there. And this will be our mounting plate in which will be mounted to the side here of our cabinet. And I have to get some screws to uh, fit that. And then our table will mount into there just like this. And then that will be able to swivel around. We'll be able to swivel a table. And then we will also put a mount in between the benches and be able to use a table in between there. With the mount here, I'll be able to use it uh, for both the driver and passenger seat because both of those seats swivel and I don't know exactly where I want to height that just yet but that's our next step and this is the part that uh, mounts to the bottom of the table and that doesn't quite fit I'm gonna have to press it in somehow and uh, hopefully I don't damage it but we'll get that in there and mount that to a table of which I'm just going to get a temporary table that will work for the weekend and then uh, later on we'll probably replace it. So I've got all my stuff laid out. I just need to install the mount on this side and figure out how I want to do a mount on that side. I'm probably going to have to add another uh, piece of three quarter inch carpeted piece of wood against the wall so it uh, will move this out of the way and I'll show you what I'm talking about so hang on so once I uh, put a mount here on the side of the wall because this top part sticks out just a little bit I am going to have to put a spacer in between there and that should move it out just enough that I don't know if it's going to swivel or not, but I'll be able to have a, a, a little table right here, which I think is going to work okay. And uh, we can call that pretty good. So I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put all my mounting brackets, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get those installed. So I'm going to need some fasteners and uh, a table, and then we can get this thing installed. So I have installed the table mount on the side of my bench here and I used uh, 1 inch by 16 inch screws here to hold things in place. They're not through bolted. We'll see how well that holds up and uh, we may have to switch those out in the future but I think it's going to work. So now we'll uh, go ahead and attach the table and everything and we'll see what it looks like. Right, so we're going to go ahead and attach the leg here. and. Uh, Not exactly sure about the height, so we'll just uh, put it in place for now. And I think that's going to look good. And then I bought just a teak tabletop project deal. Went ahead and mounted my plate on the back, and. Uh, from this section here is about five inches so we'll go ahead and put that in place and then uh, we'll have a seat just the height yeah because that's a little on the high side thinking probably about right there.
There, that'll be the driving position. So, I think that's going to work. I like that. Nice. And then uh, later on, I'll install another mount right here between the benches. And that way, uh, I have a little table between. But uh, for, for me, yeah, that's all right. So I think that's going to work. It's table is not finished out. Uh, we'll do that at a later date, along with us some other things. So I'm liking that. Looks pretty good. What do you think? Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's raining out pretty good. So I've got me a little towel here to catch some water. I'm probably on the outside of the van over at some point. Put a little rain gutter up here to catch that water coming down because every time you open the door, water comes in. It's all over the floor. Not liking that, but we'll, uh, we'll tackle that. And I think I'm also going to go back to the store and get uh, some different curtains. I don't like these dragging on the floor, and I don't have time to hem them up. And I think they're, I think they're a little on the thin side. They are a blackout to keep the light out, but uh, yeah. And then here on the side, I just stuck a magnet right here to hold it up. A couple of them. So, and with some hooks in case I need to use those later on. And of course, my table set up. And that'll be our uh, secure position when we're driving. All right, next is to make the bed. So let me uh, grab all my bedding sheets. We'll get those on, clean things up real good. I got dust everywhere, and then uh, we'll take a look at it. And we have our bed made. Right, it's gonna be so comfy. So I put my fitted sheet on, I got my fleece blanket, I got a weighted blanket over top of that, and then I got my comforter and two nice, really soft pillars. So, should have a good nice sleep on that bad boy. And uh, everything's kind of cleaned up right now for the moment. So we just have to do a little, little loading and then we're about ready to go. So, that's it. All right, so the van build's coming along. Uh, we've come a long way, and we still got a ways to go. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. Nice and pleased, yep. Little work area, little eating area, or play and just some, watch some videos or something. Might watch myself, <laughs> who knows. Anyway, we still have a galley to build, and uh, once we get all that installed, uh, then we will uh, do all the wiring, electrical, Get a little bit of plumbing done and uh, yep almost there I am going to change out these curtains after looking at them for a while I just don't like them anyway but they serve the purpose for right this second cool so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see the progress and as always please do stay tuned <laughs>